Welcome back to the 10th Isle. My name is Ryan, and I hope this episode of Dealer's Life 2 finds you well. We are starting from a little bit different spot. As you can see here, normally we kick off with an auction. But if you watched last week's episode, you saw that we actually saved right after the auction. And I didn't know that was a thing. I think I might just continue to do that in the future when I know I am going to get a banging auction price. And if you missed that auction price that we got in last week's episode, we'll put it right here for you. Without further ado, let's kick right off with this week's splurge or downfall. Not sure how this is going to go. Hi, name's Haley Woodward. I got a little treasure. What do you think? Looks like a dragonfly pendant. It's a silver brooch produced in 1965. Terrible condition. It's only worth $410. Not worth running past our expert who is pretty much on the verge of being fired. Uh, $250. And that's it. $370. You're out of your mind. $300. $350. $305, Bob. $340. This is ridiculous. I don't need items this badly. You know what? I don't want it. See ya. Good morning. They call me Emma Belfagor. Wow, that one almost broke my brain. I just obtained a unique piece. Take a look and tell me you want it. Looks like a map. An old collectible document produced in 1870. Rare, terrible condition. Could be the Goonies map. We don't know. We don't know. Could be. Worth $37.50. Not a fake, allegedly. Might be able to fix that up. We'll take a look and see. We're waiting on some stuff to get done, so. How much do they want for it? I'm thinking about $2,000. Seems like a fair offer. But uh, judging by their facial expression, the hat they're wearing, their whole getup, that's probably not going to be very close. Not sure. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd like to say I was shocked, but we're never shocked when we see this anymore. No one's satisfied. Again, I can tell you will never, ever be satisfied. You know why. Yeah. Hello there. My name's Aaron Stewart. I found something while I was checking my wardrobe. I want to pawn it. Oh my god. What is with the armor? Who lets you in here? Decorated armor produced in 1957 connected to communist Russia. Oh wow, that's a real sore spot there. Sure, I guess. Let's hear your price first. I don't know, like... Maybe 15 grand. Whatever I accept. I mean, if I can get 20 out of that, I'll take any profit we can get at this point. Yeah! Beautiful. Restore Garrett just finished his job with Renaissance Cannon. Its new estimated price is question mark. What? So now I've got to run it through the other way? Oh, no. Now we've got to get it properly estimated. That's going to cost an extra couple and even more days. All right, let's just go for it. Again, we're still in on it. Might as well. We can get something else fixed up, too. I'm thinking maybe this map? Another three grand? Okay, so that's where that's getting a little bit too much. There is something in here that needs fixed up. I don't remember what it was, though. The knife, 18,000 to fix it? Good God. Wow, ah, go for the map, let's gamble. Maybe run to be really cool. Hey, maybe it will be the Goonies map. Oh my goodness, another expert, but way too much on the weekly cost. We're not quite there that that isn't a huge hit, especially when I make some of these bad choices, but I would like to get a better expert. Open for business. Let's go. Good morning. They call me Athena Matulu. Muchlu. 
Nailed it. Thinking about buying that piece over there. I really want it. Alright. Oh, of course you'd want this lamp that's hot garbage. Sure. You're willing to pay how much for it? It's only worth sold. Yeah. Sucker born every day. Or so they say. Hey, what's up? Name's Heidi Buffet. Oh, jeez, I hope you're not rated to Phoebe. I was wandering around and I saw that gem over there. Prepare to fight for it. That is a couple stacks of cash. Want the saucy knife? Couldn't repair it, cost too goddamn much. Uh, wow. Try for 60, see what happens? Hmm? Oh! Flower in your hair? I don't care. You're not satisfied? Ha <laughs> ha the door's over there. Yeah. Hello, my name's Nancy Shiro. I want a unique piece. Take a look and tell me you want it. I mean... Not really. It's a collectible bicycle produced in 2021. It looks terrible. As it's in terrible condition. Now let's get a read on it. Nah, it's spot on. Okay. 9.30? That's not going to happen. More like 7.25, apparently. That's what I hit on the keyboard. 8.50? 800. I think 8.40 could be a better one. Accept it or I'll leave. Actually, that's not terrible. Yeah! Another day, let's go. Hello, they call me Harry Hamilton. It's a sweet mustache, sir. I borrowed a unique piece. It will fit wonderfully in your shop. Will it? Silver matter produced in 2016 belonged to George Tapai. So George Takai. Mm, I don't know if I really want that. Uh, yeah, use that. 780. Oh, it wasn't worth it. Darn it. Three four hundred dollars. Eight eighty? Get out of my store. Aww. Hello there. Name's Robin Petrovian. Another one of these? Are you a cop? Spy? What are you? I just obtained something now she'll shower me with money. Not gonna happen. Whoa! Estimated at three hundred and eighty thousand. Don't think I want it. Hold on, who did that belong to? Sorcery Johnson. What? What do you actually want for it? Three forty-five. I'm not even gonna offer you anywhere near that. I'm not gonna offer you anything at all. Oh. Hey, what's up? My name's Francie Bayanzagalu. Okay. Drums? All right. I'll give you $721. Let me think. Beautiful. Yeah. Hello there. Name's B.B. Parker. I was cleaning up my wardrobe when I found something... Could this tickle your interest? Maybe. You're using the right thing. Oh, boy. No idea what it's going to be worth. Darn. Royal Palace of Madrid souvenir produced in 1973. Belonged to Usain Thunder. Ooh, Usain Bolt. Fastest dude alive. My name is Barry Allen, and I am the fastest man alive. 15,000? 10,000. Don't know what it's worth. 14? 11,000. And $111. Not sure? Great. Might actually make money on that one. Yeah! Probably not.
Han ticket expired. The owner has not redeemed this item. Big Ben souvenir is now yours. Ooh. I've got full inventory though, so that's real bad. We do not know what it's worth. I think I gave them 20 grand for it, so that's a real bummer. I was hoping to get that money back. Darn. Well, okay. Ah, oh, Bob, man, why do you always show up when you just shouldn't? Okay. Like, Grandma is becoming really upset with me for using her home as a shop. I need a gift for her now or she won't talk to me anymore. Have you got something useful? Probably. There you go. And it's in terrible condition. Yeah, I don't have anything else. Yeah, that'll work. Probably wasn't going to sell them anyway. Hey, what's up? I'm Adrian Nayar. I'm here for that piece over there. You should consider selling it to me. Look, lady, you walked into the shop. You've got cash. You stepped to the counter. I'll consider selling you anything. Come on. Big Ben souvenir. Oh, you want that? Mm. <laughs> what are you going to offer? Ha! <laughs> 13,000. No. I think I'm just going to take a loss on this, but we're going to ask for market. Actually, we're going to ask for 25. See if we can kind of get somewhere close to what I paid. 14, 6? Mm, nope. Get, getting a little bit closer. 22? Yeah, I figured we would never be on the same page. It is time for you to go. Oh. Hello, they call me Jeanette Beckham. Well, don't bend it too much. I like that gem over there. I won't leave here without it. Okay, a little too enthusiastic about this gun. 50 grand? Wow. Okay, no reason to even argue at all. Yeah! So Ooh, an auction? And we've got an expert? Ooh, and a bouncer. I haven't seen a bouncer forever. Maybe we get rid of that appetizer. Which is that bouncer? Oh man, quite expensive. We're getting to the point where we might be able to afford. Expert, same thing. We're getting close th to it. Not quite there, I don't think. We'll see. Let's look at the auction here. Traditional tied dress, old silver coin. I don't really want either one of those. I'm good. Anything we can upgrade here? Wow, it's a lot of money to upgrade. I did not realize that was going to be the case. Okay. Can we maybe get out of Grandma's shop? I know we just upgraded shops pretty recently, but still. We get more customers and more fame points. This feels like a risk, but I'm going for it. That got us to regular. Beautiful. I like it. Now let's get into more selling. We did it. We really got out from suburbs. Oh, I'm so happy. I've never thought we'd succeed. What? Really? He had no faith in us? Bob. Dude. Of course I am. I mean, look at us. Whatever. We're here now. Look around. Have you ever been in a better place than this? Yes? You're so funny. Anyway, welcome to the Industrial District, a good commercial district full of old shops and offices. We did a great job getting here, but we can still do better. You just said you never thought. What the, dude, make up your goddamn mind. That was a pass. Now this is clearly not enough for our huge potential. 
We're talented dealers and we deserve better than this. Let's climb that ladder to the artistic district, the very best district of all districts. Yeah, great. Maybe you'll change your shirt when we get there. Hi, I'm Russ Dinostorm. <laughs> that is a killer name. I was cleaning up my handbag when I found something. Isn't it awesome? It's an old harmonica produced in 1883. Yeah, it's very good, rare. I need to know how much it is. Oh, expert. You're definitely getting fired soon. I'll eat the cost rather than deal with this crap. You're waiting? Really? You're lucky I don't kick your ass out the door. 10 grand. Just kidding. $1,000. 4,000? 3,000. 4,100. Best I can do, 4,100. Well, let's gamble. Yeah. Hey, what's up? They call me... Alte Jaguar. No, they don't. I'd like to show you a little treasure. Could this tickle your interest? It's a microwave with pizza on it and poo. I mean, no, it doesn't tickle anyone's interest. 1500. 1860, except after I'll leave. Say it. Good morning. I'm. Nimrat Da Vinci. Oh, I think we had one of your uh, relatives in last week. I'd love to buy that piece over there. Give it to me or I'll be very sad. He already looks sad. Not really going to matter, huh? One of them drums. All right. Going to the circle. Yeah, market's fine. Beautiful. Glad we could get a deal going. Also love this change in music here. Awesome. Yeah. Hi, you can call me Ferris Nanto. I just obtained a unique piece. It will fit wonderfully into your shop. Look, I can see you've never done this before. If you had, you'd know I don't like these damn uniforms. Also, maybe you wouldn't have beady eyes. Probably not, though. I don't want this thing. 29,000? 10 grand. 27. 15 grand. You're not sure? You're really far off. No deal. That's it. Great. Don't ever come in again. <sighs> Expert Robert has just finished his job with Renaissance Cannon. It's authentic. Its new estimated price is 98,000. Okay. The owner has not redeemed the item. The toy train, it's now yours. Sweet! Toy train is worth absolutely nothing. Ridiculous. The cannon? We only spent half that. The, hey, that one will actually work out pretty nicely. Anything else we can maybe fix up? Yeah, we could probably try to fix that up next. Or get an actual estimate on it, maybe? Ugh, I don't know. It's probably not worth the money. Otherwise, I think we're good. Maybe get an estimate on this thing? Yeah, I think that'll be worth it. Got a better expert for hire? Nope, same garbage one. Okay. Keep it going. Hi, they call me Elvis Organa. I just fell in love with that piece over there. Would you sell it to me? Maybe. Oh, you want this bike? Sure. I mean, market's fine. I'm not making much profit off of these low items. Beautiful. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, what's up? They call me Malva Schuster. I like that gem over there. Ready to take my money? You're here for the train, aren't you? 
course you are. 260? Sold. Get it out of the store, please. Good morning. You can call me Ronald Akar. I want that gem over there. Give it to me or I'll be very sad. Got a lot of cash. Don't know what you want, though. The cannon? Oh, baby. Time to make some serious cash. 120. Man, this is just way too easy for me today. You guys are going way too easy on me. Sold. 120. That is a lot of cash. Good morning. My name is Zoe Marr. I want to buy that item. You have to sell it to me. Get your coin purse out. Okay. Harmonica? Well, let's see how bad of a purchase this was. Ooh. Okay, so we paid too much for it. And we're probably not going to get more than... Let's try for 5200 5000 even? That's where I was actually going to go. Sold. Yeah. Hey, what's up? You can call me Sabine Balderson. I like that piece over there. You have to sell it to me. I mean, I don't have to, but I probably will. Oh, crap. Yeah. 6,000. I almost want to just sell this thing to get it out of the store, but 6,000 is way too much. 20,000. Just just try to get it 6,600. I can't lose that much on it. How about 15,000? Ah, bye-bye? Yeah, fair enough. Oh. oh boy, a storage auction. Been a while since we got one of these. Where it wasn't complete crap. Starting price is 430000 I don't have 430000 but they've got a Bright Age of Midgard video game. That's pretty cool. A pickup truck produced in 1986, connected to the Cold War, belonged to Chuck Chorus. And a collectible Katana, produced in 1959, connected to Communist Russia, belonged to Syl Sylvester Stallion. Sylvester Stallone? Good old Sly. Oh, man. I'm impressed. Well, can't buy anything out of that. Hit bid! Hello, my name is Beth Marley. I'd like to show you a unique piece. It could be yours for the right price. That is pretty sweet looking. Renaissance gun produced in 1577, connected to the Silver Age of collectibles, belonged to Corey Bryant. No, it did not belong to Kobe. Ridiculous. 370,000. Um, I don't know that we're going to be able to get that either. 370, you want market? You're out of your gourd, lady. You can't roll in here. I'll give you two hundred thousand dollars. Can't roll in here asking that. Three fifty-five. Two hundred. Let me think. We're not on the same page. Why did you come here? What are you doing? Take your pigtails. Hello there, name's Otto Shi. I found a unique piece while I was checking the closet. Another bike? What's with all the bikes? Hold on. A racing bicycle produced in 2008? Oh no, is this Lance's bike? Ah, oh, crap. Estimated at that, I'll give you 3,000. 5,200. Man, why are we dealing in these little amounts here? 3,500. 4,850. 
4,500. 47. Uh, that, okay. That'll be fine. Need things to sell. Hey, what's up? They call me Lillian Grav. I want something. I want to get rid of it. I think we had one of your kin in here earlier, too. Whoa. Ridiculous book. Yeah. Renaissance collectible book produced in 1484. Belonged to Sir Hannah Williams. Okay. 365. No. 200,000. All right. Aww. Hello, they call me Grace Ambrosio. I found a unique piece while I was checking my couch. Why was there a table in your couch? Renaissance table produced in 1470, connected to the golden age of collectibles. Can't even check if it's fake. 320? I don't feel comfortable giving you any money on this, knowing not enough. It, it just doesn't seem quite right. We're gonna offer 200 and leave it at that. 310, sorry. Aww. Good morning, you can call me Johanna Croft. Definitely not related to Laura. I wanna give you something. It will surely be worth a lot of money. It's not. It's a Statue of Liberty souvenir. I'll give you 500 bucks, that's it. Nope, not 5,000, oh my God. You know what this is? It's the world's smallest violin. Whatever. Yeah! Restorer Garrett has just finished his job with an old collectible document. Its new estimated price is 12400 Ooh, the Goonies map is worth some money. The item has been redeemed by its owner, and the loan and interest have been paid. Ah, I made some cash. Beautiful. What are we going to sell on auction? All right, what do we have that we can actually sell on auction? Don't really have much. Sold all the good items. You know what? As cool as this ma map is, let's see what we can get for it. Actually, you know what? Let's see what we can get for this thing, because that would just be a hoot. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Remember to stay safe out there and embrace the chill. Neil Patrick Alba. Well, whatever. I'll take it. <laughs>